So you can't wait to create your very own website, app, or even a game. The universe of user interface, UI, and user experience, UX design beckons. But where do you start? Step one, the user. Imagine a game where you don't understand the objective or a maze with no exit in sight. Frustrating, right? This is how the user feels when they land on a poorly designed platform. The first task for you is to understand the journey you want them to undertake. From the second they access your product to achieving the goal, every step should be intuitive. This mapped out journey is your user flow diagram, a compass for guiding every design decision you make. The player is your persona, a fictional representation of your user to help design with them always in mind. Step two, crafting the design. Next, the creation of screens or pages begins. Think of this as plotting the chapters of a book. If it's an e-commerce site, your chapters are a product page, cart, checkout and confirmation. And as we iterate our designs, we move through the design process with things becoming more refined as we go. We start with sketching on paper to begin with because this is quick and easy. And then once we're confident with our designs, we move to digital platforms like Figma and create wireframes. Think of these as the blueprint of the house. Only once we're sure they solve our users' problems and work do we make them look like the real thing. These are called high fidelity designs and at this stage we normally create a prototype to test with our users. Step 3. Immersion into the design system. Venturing into user interface design is akin to painting but instead of a canvases and paint we have a design system. This robust guideline is a treasure trove of reasonable components that ensure uniformity. Most large companies have one ready when you started as a designer. The color palette, for instance, should be more than just a blend of shades, it's a brand's essence. Meanwhile, fonts are not just characters, they carry emotion and intent. Each font choice resonates a different feel. UI kits not only create a consistent brand feel, they also save you loads of time as a designer, allowing you to concentrate on the content and the journey of your product. With a treasure trove of components at your fingertips, the high fidelity design phase begins. And with any art, foundation principles are crucial. The visual hierarchy dictates the importance of elements, contrast ensures clarity, and accessibility means everyone can use the product. Then there's simplicity, a principle reminding us that in design, less often means more. But remember, design is not static. It thrives on iterations. Test, modify, and enhance until it feels right. Once the design skeleton is up, infuse it with real life content. Whether it's realistic content or just placeholders like the classic Lorem Ipsum, it offers a glimpse into the final product. Our design with our graphics is like a story with our illustrations. They add depth and character. And the digital age is awash with resources. From freebies to premium packs, the choices are abundant. Figma has plenty of plugins you can use in the community section. Remember, every little design choice, including graphics, contributes to the overall user experience. Step 3. Testing Once you have a prototype, remember your job isn't done. This is where we refine the design through multiple iterations and constantly improve. We bring in users to test our designs like a high precision machine and listen to feedback. We're designing for the users and we represent them in the business. So don't worry if there are many versions of your design. This is completely normal. And even after doing this for many years, I still need to have multiple versions of a design. The key thing to take away is that every version is an improvement based on feedback. Step four, development. Once the team are happy with the design and it's been through its testing, then it's time for development. This is where a development team comes in and you're part of a wider team of different skill sets. Developers and project managers will break down the design into smaller chunks and estimate the time it will take to develop the working product. It's your job during this stage to answer questions and provide everything that the team needs to make your vision come to life. UI UX design is a journey, one where every phase holds significance. While this guide provides a roadmap, the real magic lies in practice. It embraces challenges and continuous learning. So are you ready to embark on this enchanting odyssey? Dive in, iterate and create. Let your designs tell stories, solve problems and offer unparalleled experiences. And if this guide has lit the torch for your journey, do engage with us. I run a UI UX course at Course Careers and I'll be with you every step of the way. We have an active community of people just like you. So check out our free introduction course in the description. There's always more to learn and explore in the world of design. Every click, every pixel and every colour matters. Make them count.